Use this blitz setup in the Ulka World 2 to actually provide you additional edge pressure coming up next. Hey, this is Fool Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right, so guys, new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, this is a second part of a two of a three-part series out of using the Orc Oki Roll defense out of the uh, the big dime uh, 146 and also the dollar defense. And basically this is a rolling defense that you can use to go in and attack your opponent. Now I showed you the first version of it, and that works for certain types of formations. But occasionally what's going to happen is you're going to have trip side uh, off to the right-hand side, and what's going to happen is one of your your um, linebacker is going to have responsibility to be out there for coverage. Because of that, uh, basically you can't, you can't base a line and actually get your linebacker in. You can't pinch him uh, with, uh, with man. You'd have to manually go ahead and put him uh, in the in the hole as we did previously. Uh, but what happens is he actually slides out and actually falls back at a little depth. And it's just very annoying. So I, I realized this wasn't a perfect defense because if I run it to somebody that runs bunch or something like that, uh, they're going to be able to go ahead and um, – Put, jump into offenses like this and actually causing me some problems. So what I, I wanted back in the lab and actually went ahead and found a setup where you can actually go ahead and use this particular this uh, this defense to still get pressure off the edge. Uh, but now uh, what's going to happen is uh, basically you're going to have a different setup and you're going to have a little bit different pressure and it's a little bit more consistent, but a little bit more uh, slower, more of a lag. You don't get the pressure coming off the edge as quickly as possible. So uh, basically what we're going to do with this defense is we're going to go ahead and take our defensive line. We're going to shift them off to the left by hitting the left bumper and then hitting the left stick and actually going off to the left. And then we're going to go ahead and crash our defensive line down or slant them inside by hitting the left bumper and slanting inside with the right stick. So you're going to have a defense set up like this. And the final thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and blitz our right outside linebacker by hitting the right bumper and flipping the stick to the right. Uh, the, the, the guy that I'm actually going to use her is this guy right here, which is going to be Smith, my middle linebacker. I'm going to put this guy right over the center and actually preoccupy him. Now, I'm going to have pressure coming off from Brown, um, Woods, uh, basically Lawrence, and then actually uh, Vander Esch is going to be coming in too. So we're going to go ahead and snap the ball. I'm going to show you how this, this works. Hopefully this is not a run play, which it is. Uh, but let's go ahead and show you a couple more times on how this works. So once again, we're going to go ahead and uh, take our defensive line, slide them off to the right. We're going to crash them down, and we're going to blitz our right, right of screen linebacker. We're going to use her right over the center and try to preoccupy that center. And what's going to happen is you're going to get pressure coming off of either one of the edges. So this is another setup with this particular blitz. The problem with this blitz is that it takes a little bit longer to get in opposed to the other version of it. But if you have that lineman, that's a, that linebacker that's not falling into his gap, uh, you might have to go and set it up this way uh, with your blitz. But you can see he's usually going to get you're going to get you're going to get guys in at all all times. So this guy actually came off uh, off of his block and picked that up. If I would have held my block a little bit, held that center a little bit longer, uh, I probably would have got dual edge pressure right there. But you can see this guy, uh, this linebacker actually comes in free off the gap, and actually I can take away my reads that way. So once again, we take our defensive line, slant them down. We're going to blitz our outside linebacker, and we're going to use this middle linebacker as our guy. And we're just going to hover right over that center, try to preoccupy that center. If you could touch him once, it's great, and that pressure will come in. So this blitz is not the best blitz uh, in uh, of the versions, uh, but if you have a guy that actually sets you up, it will get dual edge pressure. So you can see the running back comes in. But because of the way this blitz is set up, you're going to get dual edge pressure to go in. It just takes a little bit longer. So your user, you're going to have, you're going to be very dependent on your user to go ahead and actually uh, go ahead and make some uh, make some plays with this blitz. And you might have to do some coverage adjustments on the back because you've got these two halves playing deep. So you might need to put need to put these guys in hook zones or in man assignments to actually go ahead and pl uh, play games with it. But we're going to go ahead and show you uh, the leverage and what you can do with uh, basically the coverages. What's cool about the Spigoter play is that you can jump into a bunch of different popular coverages that are used in the game and actually go and mess up your opponent's reads uh, down, down, the, uh, down the field. So once again, my subscribers, thank for support, guys. If you do like these tips, make, you, make sure you smash the like button. And if you want to find out how I'm going to go, go ahead and leverage different types of coverages, make sure you go ahead and, and subscribe so you can get the third part of this section. So thanks for your support, guys, and until next time.